This here is from Depth Delusion. They're snapping people out of delusion that Johnny was the victim. They never snapped me out. Guess they gotta try harder. But anyway, looks like now they're upset about women voting for Trump. I'm not surprised that many women vote for Donald Trump given how many supported Johnny Depp during the trial. I don't make the connection whatsoever, but okay, let's see what they got. They've got a picture of this person here. I stand with Amber, whoever that is. Oh wow, is that a guy holding an I stand with Amber sign? That's so brave, especially in that point in time. Good for him. Well, wait a minute. We're talking about now, 2024, right? So what exactly is this? Love him so hot. Okay. Is this guy hot? I've got no idea, but I wouldn't. This is when I knew the far right was getting worse and more dangerous. We all know that Johnny's bots were paid for far-right websites to end the Me Too movement. The fact that even so-called feminist creators like Drew Afalo fell for it is concerning. People have no media literacy and they follow whatever narrative is more popular. Trump, unfortunately, is very popular. I was surprised that Trump won. If you've been paying attention to social media, this was not surprising at all. I think many liberals need to exit their echo chamber and see what people are talking about around them. It was scary to me how many women, especially victims of DV, were happily fighting for debt and now they voted for Trump. I just realized that a couple of my mutuals who were victims of DV support Donald Trump. We're not going to be free thanks to these birds. There is a reason why they were drawn to shady guys in the first place. Like everything revolves around this whole thing about DV, and there's nothing else in life except like this one issue or some other one issue that pretty much makes up their entire opinion about somebody. I'm not surprised either. An R word was celebrated two years ago. Somehow people are surprised that so many voted for an R word. People are especially surprised about how Gen Z voted given how many acted on TikTok. I wasn't so surprised. Right, because on TikTok, they acted crazy and like they were into the rainbows and stuff like that. But then, you know, apparently a lot of Gen Z also voted for Trump. This person says that Gen Z is the Andrew Tate generation. I honestly got no idea. The point is, there's only two choices. So, of course, a large portion of all kind of people are going to vote for, you know, both of them. I don't know exact vote count. I'm not following it super closely, but I don't know. Kamala must have got like 50 million or whatever, 55, 65 million, something like that. And of course, I'm sure plenty of men voted for her too in that percentage. So to break down some percent of who voted for who is really silly because there's going to be large amounts of every group, basically. I truly believe there was a rent-a-crowd situation going on here, staged by his PR team alongside whipping up a mob online. You know, same thing with Johnny. They blame Johnny for whipping up these bots and fake fans and this media campaign. What do they call it? Um, disinformation campaign against Amber. So naturally, when they look at Trump, they think Trump did the same thing. Whether he did or didn't in some way, shape, or form, the mentality is, well, he must have done that, what Johnny did. Because everything that happens to them they don't like, I guess goes back to Johnny. The irony is, if that somehow got into a romantic relationship with him, he'd treat them like dirt, not to mention he'd probably mock their weight and looks. I guess that's about Trump, not Johnny. But logically, I don't think he'd get in a relationship with somebody who he wasn't satisfied with their weight and looks in the first place, so that doesn't quite make sense. These photos are so hard to look at, literally makes me boil with rage. I've seen some people coming forward to say, we were lied to, and I changed my view, and while I'm glad they're coming to their senses, I personally don't care. I don't forgive people who did this. They can plead ignorance all they want, but I'm not buying what they're selling. Misogyny is probably by far the most accepted hell even celebrated kind of dehumanization in society. Well, misogyny actually isn't really there where you think it is. There is misogyny, but I think it's more about like individuals being misogynistic. Yes, it exists, but it's not some blanket thing in society that holds back all these major movements and things like that. It's something that pops up once in a while. 
like real racism. It happens once in a while. Someone will go for a job or whatever. And the person will be like, you know, I'd probably secretly rather hire this person of this race or whatever. Yes, it happens. But some people think it's like the entire world. I don't know about anyone else, but as a survivor of DV and the R word, the Depress Heard trial woke me up. I don't know about anyone else, but as a survivor of DV and the R word, the Depress Heard trial really woke me up. Ever since the verdict was read, I felt kind of sick and dissociative. Also, disgusted to learn how most of the world views victims of the R word and DV, and how much women are truly hated even by other women. I am not even surprised at Trump winning the election. Much of the world doesn't believe women or believes that they deserved what they got. I got a secret. Come a little closer. To the people on the right, it had nothing to do with women. I'm not going to list the things it had to do with, but it wasn't like against women. I keep saying over and over, I would love to see a female president. They just have to have common sense. Having Beyonce and J-Lo and all that stuff at your rallies was a little bit, I don't know, just kind of childish for me. And I got to say, actual R-word victims get a lot of sympathy from everybody. The problem is, and let's get the elephant out of the room, we're talking about Amber fans and generally Amber, we didn't believe her. And when you think somebody is lying about something so atrocious, of course you're going to treat them, well, you know, not with kitty gloves. Anyway, that's about it. I went off in a few different directions here, but the main point is they associate anything they think is bad with Johnny, but I guess that's the forum. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.